all of you are. My name is Kariu Kingige, and we are here to address issues that are affecting the youth. This show called uh, Youth at the Crossroads address issues that are affecting youths in our generation. In today's world, youths are looking for mentors. But the mentors that are supposed to help our youths are taking advantage of them. Be they pastors, be they teachers, be they their parents, and also the senior youths that we have in the society are really destroying the life of our youth. And therefore the youth are, worried, are left worried and wondering whether there is need for a mentor. In this show, we will be talking about mentorship. What are we discussing? How can we mentor our youths and who qualify to be a mentor? We have guests with us who will help us unpack this, uh, this issue. And with us is Mrs. Louis Medikrogo of uh, the head. Mrs. Kirogo is a teacher and also a youth matron at a church and also a church elder. Mrs. Kirogo, say hi. Good evening, Fiwa. Next to me is Lever Jude. Lever Jude is a parish priest, a mother, and also a youth coordinator in our HD Connelly. Welcome to the show, Jude. Thank you. Thank you too much, Jude. And we have youths who will keep, be keeping us on our toes, whether they have mentors or whether they don't have mentors. At the far end, we have Kiama, who is a student at Ebu University. How is Kiama? Say hi to the viewer. Hi, viewer. Thank you so much. And next to Kiama is Grace. How are you, Grace? Fine, thank you. Nema. Yes. I'm Nema. Yes, Nam. Nam. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Welcome to the show, Grace. Thank you. Then we have Timon, a youth chairperson and also a peer counselor. How are you? Thank you. Welcome all to the show. So we are talking about mentors. But before we go on, it's good to know what does this word mean. Uh, Timon is a peer counselor. Timon, who, what, what do you mean by the word mentor? Okay, according to me, a mentor is somebody one can look up to, a person you can aspire to be when you grow up, somebody you can sit down and give, he or she to give you strategies on how to follow so that you can achieve the success mm -hmm. you desire. Somebody whom you can look unto. Yeah. That's what Timon said. Are there people whom you can look unto, Grace, in the society? Yeah, absolutely. They are there? They are icons, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. the people whom you can learn to. Yeah. You agree with them that there are people whom you can... Absolutely. They are there? Eh? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, these people say that they are mentors. And as, uh, as Timon put it, a mentor is somebody whom you can look unto. And I'm sure you agree with that, Marie. You agree that with a mentor is somebody whom you can look unto. So the question is, what are these, what should, are the qualities should, should the youth look unto when looking for a mentor? Okay, thank you. I agree with Timon. Actually, a mentor is somebody who should be able to advise you and guide you. Uh, maybe a person who is more experienced than you are. A person who sees potential in you, a person who sees ability in you and wants to help you bring it out. So the qualities of a mentor should be number one, uh, a person who is of credible character. A person of credible character, a person who is God-fearing, a person who is hard-working, a person that is even respectable, not just anybody out there. You look at the character because character is very important. Should be a person, uh, most likely, who has a title similar to the one that you'd want to have. Maybe you want to become a lawyer. So that person should be, should be a lawyer. Maybe you want to become a doctor. And maybe you even want to become a teacher or whatever it is that you want to become, uh, your mentor should have a title similar to the one that you, you aspire to have. And basically, a mentor also should be somebody that you can approach, somebody that you're able to communicate with, somebody you can share with. Because this person is supposed to be guiding you. This person is supposed to be advising you. So if it is a person that you have reservations with, as in maybe you fear approaching them, then that person will not qualify to be a mentor. And most importantly, that person's character should be credible. Okay, there's something that you said. A mentor should be a, a person who has a title, like a, that title that you would want to be. And you, you give an example of a teacher. You never give an example of a pastor. 
<laughs> but, you, but, but what we see in the society today, we view people who want to be pirates, but they are working with people with no title. How can, how can we help these people? Oh, I, I think I should have also included the pasta. <laughs> Maybe there is a pasta that you admire. Basically, uh, actually, the question is, eh, yeah. the problem that we have in the society mm -hmm. with our youths, mm -hmm. they want to become teachers, they want to become pastors, but they are working with school dropouts. Yeah. Are they going anywhere? No, they are not going anywhere because, again, uh, this mentor should be a role model. Mm. If you are working with the wrong company, then you are not going to end up anywhere. So it is important as you pick uh, a mentor because you know what you want for yourself. You know what you aspire to be. Look for that person that can role model you. If you are working with school dropouts, mm -hmm. then you are likely to become like them. Mm -hmm. Show me your friends, I tell you. Your friends. Your, your character. Uh -huh. So it is important that you pick the right person. Leverage yeah. Judy, as you address that issue of the qualities of a, a, a mentor, also tell us, can a youth get another youth as a mentor? Thank you. Just uh, to end on what Marim was just said, um, I, I'll, I'm going to conclude the qualities of a, a good mentor mm -hmm. with the three C's. Mm -hmm. And the first C stands for a good, a, a good mentor should be a good counselor. Somebody who can try to counsel the youth that we have in our locality. In case of any issue, that person can try at least to counsel that person. The second one, uh, another good character of a, or a quality of a, a counselor is somebody who is a cheerleader. And cheerleader, I mean somebody who can support any youth. In case of any issue, that person is there just to, 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 to cheer up and also support that person. And the third thing, another quality of a, a good uh, mentor is somebody who is a, 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 a consultant, somebody whom I can go and consult in case of anything, in case of a career, in case of, of Christian issues. At least somebody I can go there outside and uh, consult. The other thing is about whether a youth can become a mentor. Oh, yes. Actually, you are peers. Yes. You are peers. Yes. Uh -huh. You can. You uh -huh. can. Why not? You can. Uh -huh. uh, according to the qualities that we are speaking on, uh -huh. for one, if this peer is a role model to the others. If he is. Oh. Okay. He or she is uh -huh. a good role model uh -huh. to the other peers. Uh -huh. Then that person uh -huh. at least can become a, a good mentor. Uh -huh. If this person makes it to sit down with the other youth mm -hmm. and give any kind of advice. Okay. If it's a, neg a positive mm -hmm. advice. Mm -hmm. If this person can make it to, to, to come up with a, any project and try to support other youths, okay. as long as it is a positive attitude or something that we are planning, it is post positive. To me, I agree with, with it. That mm -hmm. a peer or a, a youth or a mentor or a peer can become a mentor mm -hmm. to the other peers. To okay. me, Actually, okay. Timon said that he is a peer counselor. So you mentor your peers? Yeah, I do. Eh? How I do you do. mentor them? Because you are a peer counselor. Okay, first, being a peer is a substitute of a counselor, mm -hmm. whereby we deal with the issues affecting the young people, mm -hmm. whereby mostly I love counseling the young, mm -hmm. the middle-aged people, because these are people who are not, they are not aware of what they want and what they, where they are going. So they are being influenced to do things because they are doing it with a group mentality. So I love talking to them because mm -hmm. counseling is one thing that is inborn. Mm -hmm. Because my mentor, CJ Pata mentor, Nani guide poor, but I always aspire to be like Chema Mandangozi, mm -hmm. who is a writer and also speaks to the young people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you mentor the peers. Yeah, I do. I, well, I agree with what Leverett Jude is saying, and also what uh, Timon is a very good example, because he mentor the peers. But what is the limit? Where can you go that you view that this peer cannot mentor me up to this level? Uh, is there a limit where you view that up to, up to this level I need somebody uh, of an upper age than I? 
I don't know whether grace, which limit, or you think you need to do your peer goals to mentor you. Okay, somehow, in school I found myself counseling. I didn't know mm -hmm. I would counsel young people because I happened to be a leader, campus leader, spiritual leader, Mark mm. you. So, um, um, there's a, a level that really, we say you cannot take people where you've never been. Okay. Mostly. So that's why always you should have somebody to look down to. Somebody of your level and at least somebody who you can ask things that you don't surely know. Yeah, there are some levels, of course. You cannot advise somebody. I've never been married, so I can never mentor somebody on how marriage works. Yeah. That's a good example. You cannot mentor somebody on how marriage life is. But in uh, currently we are seeing as a, a scenario where when people are getting married, they look for youth. We are not after kijana kujia kusumamia mwana mufurana na mstana na ndata after na after mstana mwezake. You know they are so mentored, but you say that they have, they have never been married. Yeah. But you want them to mentor them to mentor you with marriage. Yeah. How is that, Maureen? Uh, that may not be possible. Hmm. As I agree with her that. Uh, that person who has never been married may not have anything to offer. Okay. So this business of mentorship should also come in levels. As Reverend Judy said, a person who is your peer can be your mentor at that level. Like even in schools, we have peer counselors. So we pick those, those students with good character and uh, students who can be looked up to by others. And they, they mentor their peers, but only at that level. Now, beyond that level, you need to look for a mentor who is now above that. When you go to the university, you know this is the career that you, you, you are pursuing, then you look for a person in that line. When it comes to marriage again, you cannot get somebody uh, to be your best man or your best maid who is maybe even younger than you or who has never been married because they may have no advice to give you. So I, I believe uh, it is important that you get a person who is more experienced than you okay. to offer guidance. Let's ask here from Kiama. Yeah. What kind of a mentor would you like to have? Or do you have? By the way, do you have a mentor? Yeah, I do have a mentor. You know, Timon said that he is looking for a mentor, but he's not, he has not found any. <laughs> yeah, for me, I've got a mentor uh -huh. in school. Uh -huh. But... According to how I study books, there is there is one book by Dr. Miles Monroe. Mm -hmm. He once said that, you know, you can get your peer, or you can get someone who can guide you, as long as, like the way me, Madam Judith said, uh, as long as his or she is positive, depending on the gender. And he said this that age does not make it makes you old. So therefore, say it again. Age does not make you wise, mm -hmm. it makes you old. Mm -hmm. There are people who are old, yet they are not wise. Mm. So therefore, getting guidance to them, it's, you know, it's not good. And you are going to get her. Yeah. What you are saying is yeah. that there may be, we may have old, old people who are not helping the younger. Exactly. And the younger can, are the ones who are helping the old. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, Marim, I think me and you are seem to be the old here. <laughs> And Kiama is saying some of the older people are not helping the, the young people. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree, it mm. is true. Mm. Because if that person has got, again, nothing to offer you, mm. then that person does not help you at all. Mm -hmm. Because it is important you associate with the people who can lift you to a higher level. So this person could be older than you are, but is not capable of lifting you, of making you better. There is something we call the power of association. You associate with the people who will be able to bring out that potential that you have got, that ability that you have got, and that person may not necessarily be the person who is older by age. Because again, age and wisdom may not go hard in hand. Thank you so much, Mwarim, and the guest that we are with tonight. Actually, this is a donor issue. And as we said, as we are beginning this show, many peop young people are being taken advantage by their mentors. Once we come back, we will discuss on how to help those youths who have been taken at advantage of by their mentors. And this youth will tell us whether they, they are, the, 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 that is true or not. For now, let's go for a break. We are coming back.
Kila TV Shaping your destiny Blessings Insurance Agency offers you all types of insurance services which include comprehensive third party car insurance fire burglary and all risk covers work injury benefits act policy waiver professional indemnity personal accident among others you should insure with us for low negotiated premiums excess protector with our motor covers excellent after sale service and good up with insurance companies we are located at oasis of hope house kutus for details and assistance call us on 0722 007190 or 0721887977 or visit our website www.ckkirinyaga.org or email us on mautkenyablessings@gmail.com Blessings Insurance Company take care today to identify yourself in the event of an accident we are licensed and regulated by Insurance Regulatory Authority Hila TV shaping your destiny Welcome back Fiwa we are continue to discuss this issue of mentorship but before then we want to remind ourselves that we are living at a time we, where we need to be extra careful with the way we are especially during this time of covid-19 We encourage you to continue sanitizing and you can get this sanitizer from by faith bookshop at Kirwaya Okutus for those living in Kirinyaga county and also other and other related item that can help you to fight this virus we were discussing the issue of mentorship and as we said youth are taken advantage of there is a kikuyu song which was sung i don't remember the singer but he said that when the, when these two people get married he will go with the bride yes he will be the best man but he will go with the bride to honeymoon that has been taken advantage of and i want us this youth to tell us how are you taken advantage of and if you have ever been taken advantage of share with us share with the viewers so that we see how we can help the youth who are listening to us Let's start with Kiama. How are you taken advantage of by their mentors? Yeah, if someone have got a weaker personality, mm -hmm. then it means that that some that person is not stable. And therefore because that person have got the urge to seek advice, it is for example someone is somehow desperate. So the mentor might take the advantage of us being desperate to get to know what forward in life. Yeah. when you are desperate yeah you need money yeah aha uh -huh. muhadhara that is you remember the song of muhadhara yeah okay the muhadhara uh -huh. grace no. have you ever found yourself in a muhadhara yeah absolutely um for example when you finish school and you're fresh from campus and apparently you need mentors i'll give an example even in church yeah Yeah, let's talk. Yeah, so yeah, it's true because mostly you meet some people. You think, ah, now this one is fresh. I know so and so he works in a bank if I take banking, for example, I know so and so he works in a certain farm that's my career, right? So mostly as our mothers told us here that we need somebody in our level. So mostly we have somebody to look up to. Absolutely as a lady, as a beautiful lady. Do you want? Let me speak. <laughs> Thank you. Let me speak on behalf of ladies. Mm. I know they are going to concur with me that sometimes yeah, you may meet an agenda like opposite gender man who you think is your dad. From my point of view, this is my father, but maybe he have his own issues nowadays there are sponsors. 
you never know what somebody wants. You are in to be helped. They are in to helping themselves. Uh -huh. uh, uh, well, you are in to be helped, but they are in to helping themselves. Yeah. Are they really helping themselves or they are taking advantage of you? No, that's exactly the yeah. point. Because we are young. Mm -hmm. We need somebody to show us the way. Mm -hmm. We need somebody to guide us, as the mm -hmm. Bible says in, in Zafania, that you don't really take the flock home. Mm -hmm. You eat some. You eat some. Yeah. And you mention the church. <laughs> yeah, sorry to say. You know, no, you don't need to be sorry, because if this is what is happening in the society, then we, we, we are talk, talking so that we can help, to, to, so that we can help others. Yes. They want to cage you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is it taming or caging you? No, not really taming, not yeah. really caging, yeah. but you sometimes you don't know. Okay, let's see whether Timon has been, uh, Timon has ever been caged or tamed by anybody. Personally, as I had said Daria, I don't have a, a mentor mm. because what they do, the what do we call it, because I'm, I'm I want to be successful in life. Mm. The zeal is what the mentors take advantage of. For example, you go for a show, I do hospitality. If I want to get into outside catering, first I have to go with somebody who does the outside catering. So at Afanya, we go, I do most of the work, but he, he pockets all the money. What mm. I come out with is nothing but experience. So you find at Anichukuriaju, I have that zeal to be successful like him. That's why Sijai Pata. Up a, a mentor to follow up because most of them take advantage of the yeah. zeal because you are so energetic and anakuja kiisha market so ana take advantage yako pesa kwa vase kasi kwa vijana so they take advantage of pesa kwa vase kasi kwa vijana vase wako hapa pesa kwa vase kwa zika kwa vijana how can we help the youths who are being taken advantage by the those who are perceived to be but their mentors, and as you have had grace said, some are in the church, others are in school, others are in their place of work, others are professional, like he is saying, you know, because he is senior like you in the career that you are, you are doing, he take advantage of you. How can we help these youth who are being taken advantage of? Okay. Uh, I want to say this to the youth. The ones that we have here and the ones who may be watching. That it is important that before you pick somebody to be your mentor, take precautions. Understand this person. Even before we get to the point where you are being taken advantage of. From the word go, make sure that the person you are picking to be your mentor is a person, as I say, diarrhea of credible character. That way, you are not going to regret. That way, you're not, you are not going to look back and say, I wish I knew. So it is important you, as, you, you assess the person that you think is going to be your mentor. Make sure they have the qualities that you don't, and you are not going to regret. But just in case you make a mistake and you choose somebody who is going to take advantage of you, then it is important you leave and you look for another. Because there are others out there. But the most important point is that at the point of choosing a mentor, make sure you do it with wisdom so that you do not come to regret. You do it with wisdom. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, Reverend Judy, how do you help these youth who have been taken advantage of? Good. Thank you for this opportunity once again. Uh, we started by saying a mentor is somebody who is going to guide you. A mentor is somebody who is there to advise you. Bearing in mind when you are looking for a mentor, a mentor is somebody that you have a trust in. A mentor should have a positive, you should have a positive thinking towards that person. Now, here comes a person. And this person is calling him, himself or herself a mentor. And then he takes an advantage of you. For one, as we, we, you've been told by Mwarim, please think twice as you are looking for a mentor. If it goes to that extent and you see this person wants to take advantage of you, resist. Run away from these people because they, they are there and they are many and they are taking advantages of the youth that we have. So please run away from this person. As you are looking for a, for a mentor, we also said you should have a positive 
thinking or uh, somebody who has a, a positive behavior. And that's where we are saying, when you are looking for a mentor, it's not somebody who is going to take advantage of you, but somebody who is there to help you. The small experience that we have, as our brother Tomani said, the a small uh, uh, experience that you have, at least is somebody who can add on what you have. But you see, if you see this person is taking advantage of you, please learn away from him or her, and you'll be safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Timon is in a state where he really does not know what, how to choose a mentor. He, he actually does not have a mentor. How can help? How can we help youths like Timon, who do not have mentors and they decide? By the way, do you want to have a mentor? Yeah. You somebody, want to have a mentor? Yeah, somebody who can direct me uh, further. But the problem is you have never found. The problem is that the one you get, they have an interior motive. Uh -huh. I should say, uh. they are one attack who... We are living in a money society mm -hmm. where somebody wants to help you mm -hmm. for his own gain. Okay. But he is not doing it with Saidike. Mm -hmm. So that's what in a Kujanga problem. So Sijai Patam to Tafuata po. So so how can we help some people some people like Timon who really have never found a mentor other than us? And Timon you shouldn't give up. You are going to get one that you are going to be able to rely on, eh? I, I want to volunteer to be one. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> you can, because you're also supposed to be a mentor. The yes. same way parents are supposed to be the men <laughs> mentors to their children. Mm. But don't give up. One will come along. But don't go for that one who, want, who is out to exploit you. So maybe what you need to do is do a little more networking. Get to interact with more people. Get to talk with more people. Get to know more people on the side that you want uh, your mentor to come from. Uh, once you have done that, then you do a little investigation, you make sure that the person that you are uh, choosing as a mentor is not again out to exploit you, and I'm really sorry if that is what they do. You know, <laughs> he's talking in a way that is likely to suggest I have got no confidence in mentorship. Mm -hmm. Because the, men the kind of mentors I have come across are mentors who have not helped me at all. But one will come along. Just ex expand your... Awesome. A network mm. and you'll get one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Continue. God will definitely get you. Grace, if somebody tells you that he or she is your mentor, yeah. how should you behave before that person? Well, that doesn't mean, again, they are no good people. No, no, now we are in. Like now I know I have so many mentors. Yeah. How should I behave as a mentee? Okay, as a mentee, no, one, uh -huh. one you've given in to that person, uh -huh. and now you've trusted them. Uh -huh. So apparently, you need to hear them. Uh -huh. Really, uh -huh. you need to open up to them. You open up so to one, them. Yes. Uh -huh. You also need to anything. They are un, un, unspoken things. Please don't have secrets. Sometimes they kill. That's uh -huh. why mentors are there for that. Okay. And mentors kindly don't disclose us too. Uh -huh. When we are young people, sometimes we have a lot. So also mentors should not disclose anything that we tell them. Yes, so mentors should have confidentiality. Exactly. Whatever you, sh you have been told, you must keep it to yourself. Yes. Uh, what about the mentor? How, the, he has, she has talked about the mentees. If somebody tells you that you, he is looking at how should you behave before that person? Okay, first and foremost, when this person comes and approaches me and tells me, from today, Reverend Judy, I want you to be my mentor. First, I would appreciate that person because there is something good that person has seen in me. Then from there, I'm supposed to take this person. There are some steps that you're supposed to go from the time that we've met. We know one another, we negotiate, we talk, I, I try where I can as your mentor. Then from there, we, st we start the steps that are supposed to be there so that at least you can achieve. At the end of it all, you can achieve to hand towards me. So. so thank you so much. The director tells me that our time is almost coming to an end. So we want to go to our closing remark. Let me start with Kiama. Just your closing remark. 
watch the, that is your camera just talk to the youth yeah for the youths i would like to advise you that you find the necessary mentor a person who has got character a person who you can look up to and lead you by an example as an example so just be keen on who you choose to be your mentor just be keen yeah. okay grace just okay. be keen yes talk to your to the youth over there okay ladies kindly i know we have a hard time choosing our mentors but that doesn't mean they are no good people our reverends are here I think I'll choose Reverend Judy from now and Walim. <laughs> I've seen something good in them. That doesn't mean they are no good people. So just trust in God that He's going to guide you as He always. He never leave you nor forsake you. Good, okay. Timon. Okay. Talk to the youth. To the youth who is watching, first is to thank the the knowledge you have received from our parents here, and also before you choose your mentor, first do a self evaluation test so that you can understand what kind of a mentor you are looking for. Because if you don't first identify who you are, you won't find a mentor who can help you to where you are going. Thank you. Thank you so much. Maureen, we have a mentee here. Yeah. And <laughs> together we'll have a Judy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. So you are crossing the mark. The Bible says that as iron sharpens iron, so does a man sharpen a man. I want to tell the young people out there, that there are people who are ready to sharpen you, to help you become the best that you are capable of. But as you go about choosing your mentor, it is important to choose a person who has your best interest at heart, the person who wants to bring out the best in you, and a person, most importantly, who is of credible character. Okay, Reverend Judy. Good, thank you, viewers. Um, I want to take this opportunity to talk to the youths. And I tell them, mentors are still there. We are there. I thank you for those who have chosen, chosen us to be their mentors. We are going to do that with God's help. Otherwise, peer, uh, 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 youths, please stay safe. Once you take a mentor, if he's not taking you to the right direction, please resist that person. Look for another mentor who can take you from one level to another level. Otherwise, thank you so much and God bless you. So thank you so much our guest. Thank you so much the youth for coming boldly and also for hearing your views. Viewers, you agree with me that this topic is so broad we cannot really uh, exhaust the whole, uh, the whole content of it. But I want to assure you that there is still a next time. Next week we are still here with another topic. Join us. Connect with us, with YouTube, with uh, at Twitter, we are there. And we, are, we want to promise you that we are going to give you content of issues that are affecting our youths who are still at the crossroad. And that is, may God bless you as you continue to take care and may you continue to, to be prayerful as you choose your mentor. I'm Karyoki Gige. God bless you.